Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to paint your wheel rivets uh, if you have a pair of ESR wheels, the non-three-piece wheels. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. So if it focuses, there we go. The wheels I'm working on today are ESR SR04s. Um, so what I have, this should work for any of the SR line. But they have these rivets on there that aren't actually the rivets, they're just plastic inserts that look like rivets, which you can give them a hate all you want, but I think they look kind of dope. The standard color they got, or what I got for these ones, were gold, but I actually want them to be red because I'm re wrecking my car, it's red, blah, 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 who cares. Anyway, I messaged ESR, I said, hey, can we pull these rivets and reuse them? And they said no, and so I said, oh. But I want to try anyway. So what I've done already is I figured out you can actually pull them, you just have to be a little careful. So I actually pulled all these rivets. Uh, the tapes for me trying to tape them off to try to paint them. I've tried like three other ways and none of them has turned out the way I wanted. So I've already pulled those rivets. There's 40 rivets per wheel. And what they look like when you pull them out, let me put that on black to contrast it and zoom in. Boom. So we got the rivets, the part that sticks out there and then the part that's in here. So what this pinches when it goes in. And what you have to do in order to get them out is you have to use something to clamp it. I'm using these. Uh, I have vice grips, but I don't recommend using those because it's more likely to break them. And then when you're pulling out the rivet, it's as simple as you grab it, grab it firmly, but not so to the point that you're crushing it, though it is pretty tight, and then you, you want to twist it. You don't just want to pull it. I don't know if you guys heard that snap right there. A lot of them, once they sit for a while, they snapped in, and then slowly pull it up and wiggle it till it pops out, just like that. So the, if you pull them too quickly or try to just pull straight up, what can happen is they won't come up and they'll snap, or if you pinch too hard, uh, this, the sides will collapse in and you'll have just have a rivet that's toast. So that only happened to one of mine. I pulled all 40 of those and uh, 39 of the 40 came out just fine. One, I didn't twist it before it came just to see what would happen and yep, it broke in the side. But I'm still going to use it because it's just one. It's not too big of a deal. But let's go ahead and pull out all those rivets right now and uh, move on to the next step. So at this point, all the worst of it is over. This is going to be a very tedious job if you haven't figured it out. We have 140 rivets pulled and put away in a bucket. So next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take a cardboard box and drill out 160 holes to put these rivets in. So it's going to be awesome. <laughs> That's done. That's actually kind of fun to do. So now the fun part of just putting in all 160 rivets in here. Rivets are all in and now it's time to get on to actually painting. So here's the kind of paint that you're going to need for it. I'm going to need four things. Uh, for me, for me, you could just be three, but uh, you're going to need at least three. I'm going to show you. Let me shut up and show you. So when you're painting your rivets, you're going to want at least, or painting anything, you're going to want at least three of these four. You're going to want a primer some sort of base and then a clear. So the reason why I have two reds in the middle is this is the red I'm going for but this is really just a tint coat so it just tints the color underneath and uh, I've had a little trouble just doing just that color and getting the red I want. So I'm using this red uh, as a, essentially base coat so I'll paint it, paint it, or I'll paint it, I'll prime it and then I'll put the base coat of red on to get that nice red and this red will darken it a little and add a little more metallic and then clear coat to clear it all off and uh, not clear it all off. Um, put a protective layer on top and just protect it and make sure it lasts long. So let's go ahead and get that all set up, set it out. We're going to do three coats of each. It's a lot of layers of paint, but it's what you want to do if you're trying to make it look as good as possible. Set it out and get the layers of base going or the primer. All right, so I have the rivets all set up now. They're in the cardboard and I uh, have them propped up on an old trash can and they are undercover right now. There's opening there, but the wind's blowing away from here, so it's blocked by the house, so we're great. All right, when you're painting it, you want to make sure that you paint it from all four directions. One's here, one's from this side, one's coming from this side, and one's coming from the back. That way you get all the corners of these circles. So I'm going to go ahead and hang this up, uh, time lapse, because once we're doing the primer, we're going to go straight to the base coat, straight to the clear coat. So I don't feel like I need to explain all these because I'm pretty sure you guys all understand. Three coats, if it doesn't coat it in once, that's what three coats are for. So just be patient. Enjoy the process and the change. All right, so let's just go straight to the time lapse of me doing the bait or doing the primer, the base, and the clear. So let's just go now. So 
So I finished up painting the rivets. Got mocha on my face. Let me just give you guys a quick look at them really quickly. Oh, let's see if you can see that how well you can. Um, uh, showing up a lot brighter than it actually is. That's a pretty dark red. All right, so now the next step for these of what you're going to want to do is you're actually just going to want to let them sit. So I know you kind of want to, a lot of these times you're in a rush to get things done and you're like, ah, I really just want to get them on and just paint them and get them done. But here's the reason why we're letting them sit. <coughs> you're going to have to like push every single rivet back in. So you're going to be putting force on every single one. So it's just in the long run, it's a pain in the hatch to take those rivets out. It's the worst thing I've done today. I mean, it's been a good day. So, <laughs> but taking those out with the pliers just absolutely sucks. There's no way around it. So I'm going to let these sit for 24 hours, maybe even longer um, before I put them in. So yeah, that's really all that's next is just find a nice safe spot for them and just leave them. That's really about all I can say. in boys and that's how it's done so the way I hit them in was I used an extension with an eraser hot glued to the end then a hammer and one good hit with that and boom they're in so yeah I'm just super happy with how they turned out the red gloss looks so much better than before and I don't know if I said this in another video but the red is a lot darker than what it shows on here but yeah so that's really all it is to that so thanks guys for watching that was a nice quick short video hopefully Show you guys how that's done. Um, don't forget to dislike, subscribe, leave your hit in the comments. Bye.